money I'm going to put out. to leave. Why? Because you don't want the confrontation. here is not appropriate. No, it's not appropriate from you either. Tensions high tonight at the first school council meeting inside Agnes Taylor Public School after parents say there's been escalating violence in the hallways. I'm Faiza Amin in Brampton. This comes as Peel Police tell City News an investigation is underway after there was an altercation between two parents who have kids here at the school. Area for other business, don't leave. Why not? Because it it's is just going to get frustrating. It's traditionally a meeting to discuss fundraisers and classroom activity between school administrators and parents. But tonight's school council meeting inside Agnes Taylor Public School was attended by private security officers and members of the Peel Police Force who were there as a precaution. Do not touch me. Please don't. Don't Please touch don't. me. I Emma? have a brain injury and I have two levels. Very good and extreme. A number of parents attended the nearly two-hour meeting solely to address what they described to be extreme cases of bullying in the elementary school populated by 677 students. What happened to zero tolerance for bullying? Exactly. I'm sorry, I thought that was a huge campaign that you were all supporting. It is not the school that I am bashing. It is the situations that are occurring that are not being dealt with and handled in a proper manner. Nicole Pittman says her seven-year-old daughter has been physically assaulted while on school property. On many occasions, she says, a boy in her classroom continued to bully her and nothing was done. My seven-year-old daughter is no longer in school right now because I haven't gotten any support or any help in regards to helping this bullying from stopping here. Though the Peel District School Board says it has received complaints from parents, there hasn't been an escalation of violence at the school, saying they want parents to know they are following policies and procedures. I've been assured that by the, by the Superintendent of Education that she's reviewed the practices and the investigations and that there doesn't appear to be uh, an, an epidemic um, of sorts that needs to be addressed. Sometimes it's frustrating for parents when they don't receive information around uh, a disciplinary action that's been taken against a child. They perceive that no no action has been taken. But because of privacy legislation, the administrators of the school, the vice principal and the principal, or any staff member really, is not at liberty to disclose the consequences that have been laid upon a child. But it isn't only kids involved. An altercation reportedly took place yesterday in front of the school between parents. Peel police didn't divulge those details, only saying an investigation is underway. This is why us parents now are forced to show up at parent council meetings to get our voices heard in regards to the safety of our children because it's not being dealt with. But tonight, the superintendent of the school did promise action. It's going to take a lot of work. It's going to take some faith. Uh, I'm willing to do it myself. I'm willing to pull in resources into the school to support children. Nicole tells us she does have a meeting with school officials for tomorrow morning to talk about her daughter. A parent reached out to tell us about tonight's meeting at Nagnus Taylor Public School. If you have a story you'd like us to look into, here are all the ways you can get in touch with us. In Brampton, I'm Faiza Amin for City News.